Willie D. Live. What, what do you think about these uh, relationships where people go 50 50? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> or financially, when they go 50 50. Like, you know, he had these relationships where mm -hmm. people say, well, you know, like me and my woman, you know, we, we split the bills, you mm -hmm. know, we split. You know the, the the cost for the mortgage, the the car note, the kids, whatever. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, what do you think about that? Um, I think for one that it depends on what it is. If you the breadwinner, whether you the f woman or the male, it's like what is the other spouse job? Now a lot of men don't know. Um, like, my daughter, she's 19, going on 20. Um, her mom's died when she was two. You feel me? So I was taking care of her by myself. A lot of men think, oh, man, you're not going to stay home and what? You The kids go to school most of the day. You got to clean the house. Like, what are you? You're not doing anything. They don't understand a stay-at-home mom's is a job. I'm talking about you want to come home to a clean house. Now, normally you got the man in the house, you got other kids. Ain't nobody cleaning up after they sell at all. The mother is there all day, in most cases, and his father's to this home, cleaning up, cooking, making sure the food is there when you get there, going shopping, handling this leak that's over here, calling the plumbers, doing all this stuff like... It is a job. They taking care of what you can't do while you at work. So when it comes like split 50, if both of y'all is working, I could see and y'all basically get getting the same income. I mean, I don't see what's wrong with splitting the bills because you got to pay the babysitters. You got to pay whatever the schooling and everything else. If it's like that. But if it's a, a mom's that's staying home, it's like, what is she going to pay? And what... What what are you saying? You saying I pay the bills and I work, but anybody else is doing what the spouse that's staying home is doing. You would pay them. It ain't like, well, we saving money by not paying you. No, it's not like like that. Like with me and Mama, I don't know how anybody else do. She stay at home now, but she was a, a boss. She was. I met her as a bartender. She turned a manager there, and then in two, uh, H and R, the head of H and R at stadiums sports stadiums and everything else she was bringing in it and it wasn't enough time with the kids and she didn't want the baby she was like i can't do all of this and be home and anything else so i'm like yo baby get away from that you stay at home i'm gonna work in everything else but especially like when we got married and even before it was like we got a joint account what comes home to me is ours no matter what you feel what I'm saying? And it was, it's, it's a respect thing of knowing that y'all are working as partners. When somebody else is like, yo, I need this, I need that, and that. When that, that comfortability, but that comes with grown people, that comes with people that know like, yo, that's in my corner. And it, it's, it's just hard because a lot of couples don't know or trust their spouses because they ain't even know them that long. You know what I mean? They jump into a relationship and everything else, and they like, yo, man, I got to fill it out and everything else. When you get to that point, especially when you get married, you should know this here is my spouse, my loved one, and we working together. We not over here looking like or dictating to nobody, you beneath me and nothing else. Y'all are in there as a team. So once you understand that, it makes it a whole lot different. You don't look at nobody different. It's like an equal standard.